And Cody, I do. Sitting at the desk next to me is quiet. She doesn't try to interact with anyone while reading a book like this. She's inactive when we have some events, so I guess she prefers being alone. Obviously, she's remarkably beautiful. That's why some guy said she's cute at some times. I think so too. But everyone's interests always change after a while. Things surrounding her are calm as you see. She's so cute though. Her long eyelashes and her white skin. Everything on her face is well organized and makes her look like a princess. Please stop it! Uh huh? What happened to her? She's hiding her face with her book. I think that personality is also cute. Too much! You embarrass me a lot! Huh? Did I make a voice of that? No, you didn't. But I can hear your voice from your mind. Yes, she has a secret that Mikuri Aidu can hear voices from people's minds. I, Kenichi Shibuki, am one of the people knowing her secret. Sorry, I forgot about it. Um, it's okay. I just got to know her secret recently. I noticed it when she shared her lunch with me since I was hungry. Why do you give me the lunchbox? You were loud that you were hungry. It seemed my voice was too loud in my heart and eventually she gave me that. Since then, I've been trying not to think about anything to avoid bothering her. But that's not a proper order, which is not to think about anything because I have my crush next to me. <coughs> of course, she's recognized my feelings since she's able to read people's minds. Damn, she's so cute. And her lip looks tender. <coughs> uh, Jesus, I leaked my desire as well. I do also notice my feeling and turned her face red, so she's cute. No, she must be angry with me since she heard my nasty mind. Sorry, Aidu-san. I'm sorry for making you uncomfortable. Uh, okay. You don't need to mind at all. I'm so sorry, but let me excuse. I'm a healthy adolescent boy. I want you to forgive me for imagining something by staying with someone I'm interested in. So you don't need to worry about it. I suppress it desperately, but I want to imagine some dreams such as... Uh, what? Such a thing? Honestly, it's hard to hold it. I think I will release all minds that I have. What? I know you would hate me. Rather, I want you to decline me by showing your antipathy. Then, I don't need to think about any strange imagination. Well, that's... um... Wait. It's good for her if she turns hating me. She's going to be poor if I dream about her next to her all the time. Shibuki-kun, are you interested in my lip? Yes. It means you want to kiss me, right? What? Kiss with me. Uh-huh. Are you sure? If you don't mind it, though. No way. It would be great for me. But is it really a good idea? Kiss is... Not to my cheeks, but to my lip, you know? Are you kidding me? I know the meaning of a kiss. It's shown frequently in the novels, too. By any chance, do you read the pornographic novel? No way! Kisses can be in any story. So, don't you read them? I don't. Huh? Did you have a bit of time to respond to it? I don't read it. If you say so. I'll believe in it. No, her reactions told me that she did read some of them. I didn't do that. You're cheating it by reading my mind. I don't do it on purpose. The pornographic novel? No, you're an idiot. Cute. Then what sort of kiss do you like? A soft one, a bird one, or a deep one? Uh, I bet you have read some pornographic novel. Since then... If you are so interested in it, do you want to touch it? Touch what? That's, well, the embarrassing part that I can say. Is cheap such an embarrassing part? She tries to make my wish true weirdly. If she gave me a word about my imagination such as... Ew! And... Don't get close to me, you're nasty. Then I can stop dreaming too. 
you want to touch it, you can do it. You can. Where is it? Don't make me say such a thing. Embarrassing. Are hands the part that you feel embarrassed about when someone touches you? In this way, she tries to make my wish come true interestingly. Thanks to that, the terrible spiral of inevitable dreams of her has started. Damn! It is impossible to avoid thinking about it since my crush is right here. It can be sexual harassment. If I didn't have any nasty mind and moral person, she wouldn't be uncomfortable. Well, I don't think you're obsessed with the mind to such an extent. Your dreams are mostly cute ones, such as holding my hand and kissing my cheek. Girls shouldn't say such a sexual word. Huh? Is that sexual? Now, I have come up with a good idea of becoming a priest. What is your goal? I don't even know. One day... You know what, Shibuki-kun? Do you want to have a date with me? She invited me on a date. Damn it! I screwed up. I had tried not to dream of dating her. You don't need to blame yourself. But you know what? Dating is like holding hands and... Uh, well, what else to do? You don't know of that. I haven't done any dates before once thinking about it. How can I conduct dating? Zhu. Huh? I want to go to the zoo. Uh, why did she invite me for the date? That's not the only thing that I have to be curious about. So far, she has tried to do something for my desire. What the... Wait, she may like me! <laughs> I'll let you know after dating. Then I have to date you. Okay, okay. I see. Dating a guy is like this. Mikuri, why are you reading a book about dating? Have you consulted anything related to dating? Mom, why don't you think that I would go on dating? What? Are you going to have a date with a boy by any chance? That's a big matter. I have to call your dad. Stop it! Oh, okay. I'm glad to hear that you have that sort of person. Mom? I didn't expect you would have a boyfriend since you have got away from people due to your ability. He's not my boyfriend! Here you are. This is your allowance for dating. Huh? Such a big amount. You need them for it, right? I can do only one thing. Thank you, Mom. Enjoy yourself. Yep. On the date for dating, I was overwhelmed by her clothes which I saw for the first time. Well, Shibuki-kun? How cute. It's the extent that I want to worship her by thinking that the god had been close to me. Stop it, Shibuki-kun. I don't know what to do when you say such a thing. Oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, I have to give a compliment. It's good for you. That's too late. I'm confused about making a reaction to having a normal compliment after having too many compliments. It is said that guys should give compliments to girls about their outfits in the textbook Winners of Dating. Who tries to do that though? If you do so, it would be better to hold my hand after giving a compliment to me. Huh? Why do you know the steps? Uh, Wait, did you read the same book? Nope. I see you did. <laughs> I didn't read that, so don't smile while laughing at me in your mind! With this sort of mood, the dating started at a zoo. Lion! You're right! Rawr! They are cool, but they're still dreadful. Are you sure? I rather think they're cute. Sit down. Damn! Lion is sitting now? I can talk with animals too. So I hit it off with them here. Wow, do you come here frequently? Yep, my friends have been only them since I was a little child. Well, uh, what do you mean? Since I have the ability, I can hear some parts of people's voices that people don't want to show in public, such as antipathy to someone. That's why you alienate people? Yes. That's amazing, you know how to talk with them. I was overwhelmed in that way, but that's taken for granted by her. To be able to hear others' minds is not always good for her. I even bother her as well. Let's change our topic to an enjoyable one since we're on our dating. 
Right, sorry about that. It's all good. Then, which other animals do you get along with? Tiger, crocs, cheetah, and... Why are they all carnivores? Phew, it was quite fun. Yeah. It's about the sunset. I was walking to our home with Aidu-san. I didn't expect the saber tooth would run away from the cage. And you abyss it after that? That impressed me a lot. It's not that cool. He was just a good boy once I talked to him. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? After listening to your story, I realized that I made you uncomfortable many times. You were annoyed, right? I'm a pervert, unconscious, and stupid. No, not at all. Instead, I'd rather feel like I'm happy to know your feeling. Are you sure? I can identify people's dark feelings. I took distance from people since I didn't like it. But you're always positive and filled with consideration. So your voice from your heart is always comfortable for me. I do, son. What's more, you didn't frown at my secret at all. Whereas normal people get distant from me since they don't want me to hear their minds. Uh, do they do that? I wasn't sensitive to that since I commented, Wow, I want to hear people's minds too. <laughs> no, I don't mind. Rather, I was glad. If you say so. I... I like Kenichi Shibuki-kun. Huh? Like, do you like me? Are you thinking that I was kidding? I don't think you use such a joke. But are you sure? I'm an immature guy who has some creepy minds, including sexual ones, though. If you date me, it will be so hard for you. I'll be fine. If you wish, I can do whatever you want. Can we hold hands? I can do something advanced. So how about dating? We've done it today. You're right. I can already do kissing. That's a little bit. What? It would be better to do it after deepening our relationship. I knew it, but it didn't make sense to me. You're too innocent despite the fact you're still in your adolescence. Uh, I thought Aidusana was a pervert. No! I'm not that! Don't chuckle at me! And this way we started our relationship. Oh, you're my daughter's boyfriend, Shibuki-kun. Nice to meet you. I'm Mikuri's mom. Nice to meet you too. I'm Shibuki Kenichi. Is this her mom? She looks young. I could think that she'd be Mikuri's sister. Wow, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> huh? Did I say something? She can also read people's minds. Uh huh? I can give you something since you praised me. Really? Wait, Mom! Don't entice my boyfriend! Oh, I'm sorry, but he's so cute. I thought this family was overwhelming in many meanings.